For the Auburn Grove and Russell Road upgrade projects, Giorgio set out and achieved a highly ambitious time frame. And this was a key element in our ability to meet the West Australian Government's requirements to keep cost to a minimum and not compromise on safety. With this being the first major rail project constructed in an operational environment, and understanding and recognising all of the unique risks that this entailed, I'm particularly proud of the way that the team applied innovative and smart construction thinking to this benchmark project, all with a solid focus on project management and safety. There is a unique combination of different risks associated with these projects and how they're going to be undertaken. We have the overhead power in the rail reserve, trains running through the site, we're working inside the freeway environment, and in the car park areas we have the 132 kV lines and the 330 kV lines as well. We also have other high risk activities like tilt panel construction, heavy lifting and working at heights. So putting all of these high risk activities together is what makes this project unique. Construction of a new train station and a road upgrade was scheduled to be completed in a very tight 12-month program. One of the first tasks on site was the construction of the central platform and entry buildings on which the long spans of the pedestrian overpasses would eventually be supported. The steel framing of the three main modules of the train station were being fabricated off-site. Cladding and fittings were installed over several weeks until the completed modules were ready to be lifted for final placement within the live rail reserve. This lifting frame has been designed and fabricated especially to install the concourse modules for the Auburn Grove train station. Works were also underway for the duplication of the Russell Road Bridge. The main support beams for the bridge extension had been created at Giorgio's modern precast facility in Hazelmere. Finally, with the freeway emptied of traffic, the preparation of the wooden pads for the massive cranes began. Over the three weekend shutdowns, the three concourse modules, the pedestrian overpasses, the frangible walls and the eight T-Roth beams for the Russell Road Bridge were installed. The team has done tremendously well in meeting all of those shutdowns, delivering on what they've promised. We've been able to do this with minimal disruption to commuters, both on rail and on the freeways. Safety performance has been excellent and this has been through the commitment and understanding of everyone on the, on the ground. 